Viewer discretion is advised. Boom! Perfect timing. A report was made about two suspicious individuals outside a residence in Louisville, Kentucky. Officer Gregory Satterley from the Louisville Metro Police Department responded to the call and found Nishan and Stefan Beckham sitting in a van parked outside a family member's home. According to the video evidence, Officer Satterley and another officer approached the couple and asked them to leave several times, saying they were trespassing. The couple explained to Officer Satterley that they were not trespassing, but waiting for their family members to return home so they could pick up their children who were staying with the relatives who owned the home. When Mrs. Beckham, who was a passenger in the van, refused to provide her identification and requested to speak to a supervisor, Officer Satterley would forcibly remove her from the vehicle, throw her to the ground, straddle her, and repeatedly demand that she place her hands behind her back. Although Mrs. Beckham complies with Officer Satterley's commands, he would still decide to escalate his use of force and discharge his taser, striking Mrs. Beckham in the chest. Okay, then get your IDs out. Let me see your IDs. Let me see your IDs and see the. Give me, give me your ID. Give me your ID to step step out of the car. Come on, step on out. Nope. Because I'm telling you. Come on. Come on. Come on. You don't have to be aggressive. Oh, you have to stop. I'm going to put your paperwork hey, in I'm there. You. I'm putting your paper hey, in the car. What? If you, you get stupid, like you get I'm stupid, you're you going to go to jail. To you understand me? Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back now. Put your hands behind your back now. I have to speak for supervisor. Put your hands behind your back. Mike! Mike! Six Charlie, we got both the tanks. Help us, Mike! Yeah. Mike! 
Listen to me. The next time. Listen to me. The next time. No, you didn't. I asked for your IDs, and you refused to give them. No. The next time you were told to leave. The next time you're given instruction, you need to listen. Period. You understand? You ain't in charge of this. Seven sixteen Charlie Radio. Start a supervisor. We got one tased. Nishan and Stefan Beckham were charged with trespassing and resisting arrest. About a year later, in September of 2017, all the charges against the Beckhams were finally dismissed. Around that time, LMPD Chief Steve Conrad initiated an internal investigation into Officer Satterley, which remained open from January 2017 until April of 2018. Why these officers, such as Officer Satterley, are not being charged with crimes? David Johnson represented the Beckhams. Prosecutors dropped all charges, and the city paid the couple a $50,000 settlement to avoid a lawsuit for wrongful arrest and excessive force. But what does surprise me is how this officer still had a job after the initial encounter with my client. In fact, nothing happened to Satterley as the case was reviewed internally by LMPD. He was never pulled off the street and records show over the next year he used excessive force at least two more times. One incident involved Officer Satterley throwing a handcuffed man to the ground and verbally berating him. The other incident occurred when Officer Satterley used unreasonable force on another handcuffed suspect, resulting in injury. Although officers under internal investigation are often placed on administrative reassignment, Officer Satterley continued to remain on active duty. Chief Conrad concluded that Officer Satterley had displayed a pattern of aggressive and angry behavior, stating that the community needed protection from him. In April of 2019, Officer Gregory Satterley would finally be fired for the tasing of Nishan Beckham and the multiple other recorded incidences of his use of excessive force. The city of Louisville would quietly settle the Beckham's case out of court for $50,000. An LMPD officer fired for tasing a woman sues to get his job back. Officer Gregory Satterley was fired last April. Satterley just filed a lawsuit asking a Louisville judge to reinstate him with back pay. He claims in part he was not allowed to present evidence on his behalf, including that he suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder. In a significant development for the Louisville Metro Police Department, Chief Steve Conrad was dismissed from his position after eight years of service. The decision came in the wake of a lawsuit filed by attorneys David Moore and Greg Sims concerning the fatal police shooting of Shelby Gazaway in 2019. This put both the department and Chief Conrad under scrutiny. Newly released deposition footage has shed light on the ongoing lawsuit, featuring attorneys questioning the former chief about a scathing report from the Department of Justice. This report highlighted various instances of misconduct within the LMPD, including the use of unjustified neck restraints, excessive deployment of police dogs and tasers, and the execution of search warrants with invalid documentation. Moreover, it accused the department of unlawfully stopping in arresting citizens during traffic stops and engaging in discriminatory practices against black residents. I was relieved of that job on June 1st of 2020. You were the chief policymaker for LMPD during that period of time, correct? Objection to form, you can answer. I, I was responsible for the, the policies that were made in the in the department. Would you agree that LMPD unlawfully executed search warrants without knocking and announcing? I'm sure there were situations where that occurred, yes. Would you agree that 
Louisville Metro and LMPD engaged in a pattern or practice of conduct that derived people of their rights under the Constitution and federal law. I don't think the Department of Justice would have included it if they did not have sufficient evidence to, to make that statement. Are you familiar with uh, the Department of Justice report that came out last week? I, I'm aware of it. I'm not familiar with it. Um, have you read it? I have not. Would you agree that within the time span where you were chief at Louisville Metro Police, LMPD used excessive force, including unjustified neck restraints and unreasonable use of police dogs and tasers? Direction of form. You can answer if you know. I'm sure that there were times when that occurred. Would you agree that LMPD conducted search warrants based on invalid warrants? Direction of form. You can answer if you know. I don't know, but if it's in there, I, I assume it happened. <clears throat> Would you agree that LMPD unlawfully executed search warrants without knocking and announcing? Objection to form. Can answer if you know. I'm sure there were situations where that occurred, yes. Would you agree that LMPD unlawfully stopped, searched, detained, and arrested people during street enforcement activities, including traffic and pedestrian stops? Objection to form. You can answer if you know. I'm sure that occurred on some occasions. Would you agree that LMPD unlawfully discriminated against black people in its enforcement activities? Objection to form. You can answer if you know. I'm sure that happened in certain cases in individual circumstances, yes. Would you agree that LMPD violated the rights of people engaged in protected speech critical of policing? Objection to form. You can answer if you know. I would not surprise me if that occurred. Um, did you know of specific incidents of that occurring? I do not. Would you agree that Louisville Metro and LMPD discriminate, discriminated against people with behavioral health disabilities when responding to them in crisis? Objection to form. You can answer if you know. I'm sure there were situations where that occurred. Would you agree that the failures in leadership and accountability have allowed unlawful conduct to continue unchecked at LMPD? Objection to form. You can answer. That could have occurred. Would you defer to the report for their findings and for the specific instances of conduct that they found? Objection to form. You can answer. Yes, sir. I am. I, the Department of Justice knows what they're doing, and, and uh, I don't doubt their findings. Okay.